Good evening, I'm Nora O'Donnell, and thank you for being with us. We want to begin tonight with that firestorm on Capitol Hill. The former special counsel Robert Hur testifying about his investigation into President Biden's handling of classified documents. The special counsel was defiant, standing by his conclusion that no charges were warranted. You may recall, though, it was his final report that angered the White House. The report included personal assessments about the president's age and memory, mentioning his son Bo's death. Lawmakers on both sides of the aisle used the hearing to score political points ahead of the 2024 presidential election. Republicans blasted her for not charging Biden with a crime, while Democrats aimed to point out the differences between the current president and Donald Trump, who is facing charges for mishandling classified documents, saying Trump obstructed all investigations. The White House views the matter as over and said the case is closed. CBS's Ed O'Keefe is going to start us off tonight from the White House. I did not sanitize my explanation, nor did I disparage the president unfairly. Former special counsel Robert Hur's public grilling today at times looked more like a proxy fight for the White House. Republicans raised questions about President Biden's mental fitness. What I'm trying to figure out is whether or not Biden's lying because he's still so senile. While Democrats aired on flattering footage of former President Donald Trump. An anomalous, really an anomalous. Hur defended his report and its contention that the president was a well-meaning elderly man with a poor memory. My task was to determine whether the president retained or disclosed national defense information willfully. I could not make that determination without assessing the president's state of mind. Democrats said he went too far. Mr. Hur, you, you, you cannot tell me you're so naive as to, to think your words would not have created a political firestorm. You understood that, didn't you, when you wrote those words? Congressman, politics played no part whatsoever in my investigative steps. Her questioned the president for five hours over two days in October and wrote that the president forgot key dates, like when his son, Bo, died. But a 258-page transcript of the interview released today shows the president remembered the month and day, May 30th, just not the year. After the report was released last month, the president blasted her. There's even reference that I don't remember when my son died. How in the hell dare he raise that? Today, her explained. The need to show my work was especially strong here. The attorney general had appointed me to investigate the actions of the attorney general's boss, the sitting president of the United States. Several Republicans accused her of letting the president off easy. All I have to do when I'm caught taking home uh, classified materials to say, I I'm sorry, Mr. Herbert, but I'm getting old. My memory's not so great. In the hearing, Democrats also repeatedly called out the differences between the Biden and Trump documents cases. The current president had roughly 80 documents in his possession, while the former president had more than 300. Her had also acknowledged in his report that there are major differences in the cases. Nora. And O'Keefe, thank you. 